Howdy guys and welcome to another technical tutorial on the IBM BPM product. In this tutorial we're going to have a dialogue. Now not a conversation between you and me but a real dialogue window coach view kind of stuff and we're going to use the Spark UI toolkit in order to achieve that. So the goal of a, of course, of a dialogue is a window pops up within the context of your existing coach and in that window you can enter some information or otherwise interact with it. You can't interact with the rest of the page and then you get to dispose of it. So let's go ahead and build this out and we'll see a couple of the controls that we're going to use. So we're going to build this out live in front of us. So let's create ourselves a new client side human service. Let's call it uh, my test dialogue and hit the finish button. And we now have our new human service. Don't need the OK button. Let's get rid of that. Let's go to our coaches. Let's start editing the coach. We'll start with our default coach. Don't need the OK button. All right, so we've got an empty coach in front of us. So we'll start simple enough. We will have ourselves a well, 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 well. And in the well, let's make the screen a little bit taller. I like to have my well to have a bluish background. So there we go, a nice blue background. And in the well, we will place a button. Hello button, and we'll place that button in here. And uh, we'll call this button show dialogue. Great, interesting stuff. Now let's hit the play on this already and let's see what the screen looks like. Well, don't need the debugger. Let's see what the screen looks like. So we got a nice well di a well area here and a show dialogue and we hit the button and of course nothing happens because we haven't done anything special yet. Now we get to add in the magic secret sauce and it's called a modal section, a modal section. So a modal section allows us to put in a area which will appear as its own dialogue window. So here's our modal section. Now if we click on the modal section, we can drop content in it. So let's uh, put ourselves a, a text area in here, or text field in here. We've now got some text. There we go. So now we've got a dialogue that when appeared, it will look like this. So that's great. So this is our modal dialogue. And if we play the play button now and we run it, we get, oh, we get the dialogue appearing immediately with transparent background. And that's not very good. So sure, dialogue doesn't do anything. We can't dispose of it. That's not right yet. So the reason that it shows up immediately is that we need to set the visibility of this modal section to be hidden. So I can come over here, set it to be hidden, and it goes away or it becomes hidden. That looks good enough. Now, unfortunately, no, it's not hidden. It needs to be none. No, oh, and now I'm at the wrong one. There we go. Let's try this again. Click on this, and we seem to have a bug. There we go. Set it to be none, and it's disappeared. Oh, shoot. I'm going to call this a bug in process designer. If you set something to be hidden during the editing session, it shouldn't really be hidden. So that's no good. So let's pair it back to be same as parent. And my workaround for this is to define a script which returns none. So what that will do is that will at runtime hide our, uh, our modal dialog. Uh, from, I'm sorry, at runtime it will hide our modal dialogue, but during development it stays present. So if I run my script now, if I run my human service, no dialogue, but when we hit show dialogue, well, it still doesn't appear. Why not? Because show dialogue isn't wired to do anything yet. So let's go into show dialogue. Let's go to its configuration and its events. Ah, what did I call this dialogue? What did I call it? I can't, it wasn't called anything. Let's call this dialogue dialog. Now we go to our show dialog button and in the configuration section when we click the show dialog button I want to say that the view called dialog should be shown just like that. Uh, now if we run it again and here's our entry we hit show dialog and the dialog appears. Well that's great but notice it's got a transparent background and we can't dispose it of it. Well, that's not very good yet. So let's go back. Let's do some more work. So in our dialogue here, in our dialogue here, uh, we want to 
inject in here an entity called a panel. Now, a panel is good because a panel gives us a header and area here. So we drop in our text area. So now we've got a pretty panel. Let's hit the play button again. Let's go look at it. Let's show the dialogue. And now it's starting to take shape. I can enter some text in here, uh, but I can't dispose of it yet. Ah, more stuff. OK, so let's go back to our panel and let's give our panel an icon and let's call it the close icon. Now watch up here, watch what happens when I hit enter on the close icon. It's got a close button. Now when I click that button nothing is immediately going to happen. However, in the configuration of our panel we can specify what should happen when the icon is clicked and what I'll do is I'll say the dialog should hide. Looks good. Hit the play button, run it again now, when we show our dialog, we've got our panel, we've got our text field, and we appear to have an icon up here, which is the close button. I hit the close button, and it goes away. Wow, now things are taking shape. Now we've got a useful-looking dialog. But in dialogs I know, there's usually a button at the bottom which says close or OK or, or something good like that. So let's see if we can't go ahead and add that. Now there's the concept of a panel footer and if we add a panel footer into our panel that gives us an area which will appear at the bottom of the panel. Now let's add a button into that and we'll add a button into that. There we go and we will say this button is called OK and when that button is clicked we want it to hide the dialog. So we'll come over here and we'll say dialog.hide and let's go ahead and run it again. Yep, there's our basic screen. Oh, cool. Now we've got some data. I can hit the OK button and the dialog goes away. That's great. However, I usually like my dialog disposal buttons to be over on the right hand side. So we'll go back to our panel footer and we'll find ourselves something called a horizontal layout. We'll drag our horizontal layout into our panel footer. We will place our button inside the horizontal layout and we will configure the horizontal layout's appearance to be uh, tight, which means it's got no extra white space around it, and the content in it will be right justified. Now let's hit the play button one more time show the dialog. We've got a nice OK button over here on the right where we want it and we're done. So in just about seven minutes I created myself from nothing a coach with a dialog with the layout fields that I wanted in it with an icon that allows us to close it and an OK button right justified to make it look like what we want. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the tutorial. Uh, so again, run it through at your leisure. Maybe have a go at playing with it yourself. Um, there was no magic up my sleeves. I was just using the out-of-the-box Spark UI toolkit from Salient Process. And that is a dialogue window. Thanks, my friends, and hope to make more of these tutorials soon. Bye for now.